been a while since I made a video, but I made a promise to a subscriber saying that I would take on his request the next video. And this subscriber is Mr. Sticky, who's been around for a long time since my cha channel had even less than 100 subscribers, which was a while ago. But we're getting sidetracked. This video is going to be discussing why I think power scaling in Bleach is consistent. Now, the general consensus is usually that Bleach power levels are inconsistent and all over the place. It doesn't make any sense. However, I would bring up several scenarios in Bleach, because I am a Bleach fan. I remember every scenario, for the most part. Maybe the thing I don't remember is it. I probably don't remember things from the first arc. Maybe. Because it's been a while. But, I would bring up these examples to prove why Bleach bashers are incorrect and insane, as I usually do, as I have been doing since I've been on this fucking YouTube channel for since 2012, some shit like that. But anyway, getting sidetracked again. First of all, one major complaint I hear from Bleach bashers is that Hitsugaya is shit tier and does not have the potential to be the Kinex Captain Commander because he's shit and always loses his fights or some shit like that. I don't even know what they say. But for one thing, I know. I know for one thing that this is not Naruto. This is not Naruto. Hitsugaya is technically only 15 years old as a Shinigami and it's done a lot for his age. For instance, he's able to f change weather. Change weather and make it snow. And if there's fucking snowflakes falling on anybody, they freeze to death. And the only reason Halibut didn't freeze to death was because Wonderwise came in. So, a 15 year old who can change weather at a whim, with loads of potential left, don't you think that somebody like that would eventually turn into the Captain Commander? And another thing that people started saying when Rukia went to the Soul Palace or whatever, they were saying that Hitsugaya was done. Kubo is inconsistent again because Ryuki is now stronger than Hitsugaya. When in fact, if Hitsugaya went to the Soul Palace, he would be 10 times stronger than current Rukia. Is this not a fact? Is this not the case? If Hitsugaya, I mean, zombie Hitsugaya is already beast enough, could you imagine what would happen if this motherfucker went to the fucking Soul Palace? He'd be way stronger than Rukia. Way stronger than Rukia. Not even a fucking contest. I mean, to say that Hitsugaya is weaker than Rukia because she went to the Soul Palace before him. That's just ridiculous. And that's also a theory I have. I think Yamamoto had to have gone to the Soul Palace at one point to get as strong as he was. But I'm getting sidetracked. And another complaint from recent chapter, from a recent chapter, this last chapter, which I didn't like too much. Did not like it all that much. But the chapter made sense. People were saying that because Byakuyo took out three Stern Raider, it's insane. Granted, I would have liked to see those fights. Granted, I wish Byakuya wasn't even alive right now. I wish he was dead. I wanted him to die when he was fucking got, and he got fucked by his own Bankai. You know, Bankai Fajos, he got fucked to death. But the fangirls needed Byakuya to stay alive for some reason. I don't know why, because they like the way he looks. They like his abilities, which we've seen hundreds of times. But it's cool, it's cool, whatever. He's helping aid my discussion. For Byakuya, a captain, to go to the fucking Soul Palace and then come down to taking out three Stern Raiders, is this so bad when Rukia and Renji take out Stern Raiders with their Bankai alone? Shouldn't Byakuya be able to take on three? As shitty as it is that he's alive and killing people off screen, we can all agree that this makes complete sense in, in, within Kubo's universe. It actually does because, it, like I said, I mean, even Hisagi said it himself. Well, if he even took out a Stone Raider, I'm pretty sure he did, but, oh, fuck, that means another fight happened off screen. That means another fucking fight happened off screen. You know, that's exactly why I didn't even make a review on it last week, because I was kind of pissed about last chapter. Kind of pissed off about it. I'm not going to discuss it too much, but I was, I was pretty mad. I was pretty mad. But, where was I going with this? Yes, Hisagi himself pointed it out that it makes sense for a vice captain and a captain to have this space and skill, because... If Byakuya could only take out one sitter, I suppose, Stern Raider, I suppose, would make him just as weak as a vice captain. Which, I still hope he gets taken out by a Stern Raider eventually. And I really don't know if I'm looking forward to this whole love thing because this is exactly what happened with the fucking love espada. I don't know what Kubo's doing right now. It's really hot in my room. I, have, I sweat a lot naturally. It's really fucked up. But, Jesus Christ. 
I really don't care about this fight right now, but it still makes sense for him to take out three stern And I remember dealing with a lot of people last week saying that it was inconsistent with Kubo and it doesn't make sense. Uh, one of the famous ones that really gets a lot of flack is the fact that an awakened Ichigo, you know, hollow Ichigo basically, was able to kill Lily Quarrier. They were saying it was inconsistent, doesn't make sense because Ichigo was getting dumpstered. First of all, thanks to the new information we have about Ichigo's, the nature of Ichigo's power, this makes complete sense because he is all, he was only using his Quincy powers for the most part. And when he tapped into his hollow powers, guess what? He was more in tune with his, with his Zanpak toe. He was able to bring it from one area over to his hand, like using the force and shit, because he's more in tune with his Zanpak toe self. And he was using more of his full power, which is why he dumps it Ulukoria. And Ulukoria even stated, before Ichigo went through all the advisor training, before he went to Wake Mundo, before he even got that strong, he stated that his fucking base Reiatsu is good enough, well, not base Reiatsu, but his Reiatsu at its peak is good enough to take out Lilikoria himself, but it fluctuates, and that's a problem with Ichigo. He fluctuates all the time, so that's why it seems like he's weaker than he actually is, but when he goes all out, aka Hollow Ichigo, the guy was no match for him. So, the next time somebody tells you Bleach power scaling is inconsistent, tell them to talk to Mecha Slash. I might even make a part two video on this because there's so much more. Actually, no, I'm not going to end it here. I'm not going to end it here. Let's talk about Hisagi. They were saying, oh, it doesn't make any sense Hisagi was able to take out Tosin, you know, because he's a vice captain he's a captain. Let's get something straight here. Bleach may be power level based, but it is not. I repeat, it is not Dragon Ball Z. If you stab a motherfucker in the head with a sword and then release inside of his head, that sounds wrong by the way, and you release inside of his head and a fucking fight comes out of your mouth, it's gonna beat you. I'm pretty sure if you stab someone in the head and a scythe comes out because you're releasing their head, that is good enough to kill somebody. That's a brutal kill. And they even state, because Tosin could finally see, he was indeed blind, because the old Tosin would never fall for a trick like that. So it is consistent for Tosin to also be, to be beaten by Hisagi in that state. I'm trying to think of something else. You tell me, you fucking Bleach Bashers, please give me more examples of Bleach power levels being inconsistent, Bleach power scaling being, more, being inconsistent, because I'm just not seeing it. Call me a Bleach fanboy, but I'm really not seeing it. So, that I guess my video for now, but I really don't see it. I really don't see it. I'm trying to think of there's something else. I'm trying to think of there's something else. Inconsistent power levels in Bleach. As many flaws as Bleach has, that's not one of them. That's not one of them. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but in terms of power scaling, it's got it down. It's got it down. So, I hope you like that video, Bleach fans and Bleach bashers alike, and uh, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching.